Hello, thanks for tuning in. This is kind of a different video that you're about to watch, where normally I, I have dialogues with people and record them and then post them. This one is actually a recording um, of me giving, having a, uh, a circling method session within my training course from a few years back. So I teach, and I've been teaching a year long um, intensive uh, in teaching people how to facilitate and lead circles in the circling method. Um, and this is the th third weekend in which I'm in the course, was able to video in a really high quality video because circling is, is really difficult to capture. But I think this one did a pretty good job. And so what you'll be seeing is, is me giving a demo, working one-on-one, -on -one, uh, with Vanessa, who is who is in the course, and then you'll see my um, training partner John and, and co-owner John Cotton, who's there, kind of giving the play-by-play -play and pausing things and, and and teaching, and then you'll see everybody sitting around watching and taking notes and stuff like that. What's a little bit different about this circle is that um, it's it's the context is just her and I, and I don't include the group where normally there's a group of people and we include, we, I include them and we work with the whole group, but this is just one-on-one. -on -one. However, I think it really is a great demonstration of what's possible um, through circling and through the practice, as well as, as it starts to get into what I would call, um, what we've been calling is dialogos, right? Which is where it's not just um, the dialectic inquiry, the back and forth, but there's something, there's a, a third factor that emerges, right? Where um, in, this, in this particular one, you can really get the sense that not only were we in touch with what was most essential and undescribable, like Vanessa's suchness, but in a way that evoked a sense of the greater mystery of everything, the inexhaustible, the, the moreness. At some point, as, as the circle goes on, you can kind of see how it starts, to, that, that awareness, that intelligibility, that orientation starts to um, become both background and foreground and eventually start to like bleed into each other. So um, enjoy. It's a really rare, it's a rare thing to get this on camera and be able to get it in a way that actually shows it. And I think it, this one does a pretty good job. If you are interested in, in, in partaking in the art of circling, um, and what you, in becoming a part of what you see here, we are, we have just announced and just started enrolling people into the first art of circling all online. Um, I think we have a special for the first 15 people who register, um, there's a discount. Um, and I think it's about half, we're about halfway there. So I think we're about seven or eight, something like that at this moment, last I checked. So information about that are links below. Um, and information to all of our courses at the Circling Institute is below. Also, if you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, a little bit like what you see here, um, go ahead and email me and uh, we can go over the cost and, and the details of that. Okay, enjoy. And of course, um, if you wanna get notifications for all of my videos, uh, go ahead and subscribe. There's a button right down here. Um, and please feel free to share this video to your friends and family and whoever uh, you think this would, they would like it and um, it would serve them. All right, thank you. Hey, fellow human function. <laughs> so let's, um, so we'll go, uh, I just wanna do a demo. So like, just stop at any point. Um, and if you can, if you wanna point something out or map it all out and I'll, I'll stop and, and, and talk about things as well. Um, and we'll, like, we'll take advantage of any kind of warrior moments, but like I don't, it, it never, I've never noticed, it never really works to like go for a particular aspect. So. Basically, we're just going to circle. Okay. Yeah. So we're just taking a deep breath. Mm. 
All right, everyone close their eyes. <coughs> Home base first. Sovereignty. Feel, feel your breath. Sense your sensations. Feel your butt in your chair on my floor. <laughs> feel your laugh. Your thoughts. And take another deep breath and just kind of feel that kind of essential you. And as you do, slowly open your eyes. And while staying home, just look around the room. And say, literally and like ritualistically, just acknowledge other we. And then everyone bring their attention to this fountain of consciousness. And then take a moment, just like breathe, like breathe her in, drink her in, like kind of like she's wine. Just notice the impact. And just one word. I just want to start with everyone. Just like one word. Whatever's there for you. Just, just as you bring your attention to her, just one word that's there. And I'll I'll go first. Wonder. going. Hey, I noticed there was moisture coming up to your eyes. <laughs> like two or three different occasions, it seems like there was weather happening there. What is what is the weather? What is what are you feeling? Hmm. Like I'm sitting here hearing these words coming from <clears throat> other points of consciousness and. Um, it's like seeing the contrast between my own thoughts of myself and others. And so it just caused me to feel love in a way that I don't give to myself. Mm. So just, so some of the emotion came up when you felt the contrast. Is that what I heard? Between like what you would think or what you would maybe say or implicitly or explicitly and what you, what you heard from them. Yes. And something about that contrast, like broke up in love, or had you feel love? Yes. Yeah. And it had me feeling sadness for like <clears throat> all the stuff, all the all the words I have with myself to try to contain this image that I want to like hold on to, mm. and it's like. So um, violent. The, so, so it's like you felt sadness. You felt love, and you felt loved. And then, at the same time, or clo closely after that, there's this sadness. For the lack of love for myself. So yeah. This thing. Like, what is this thing? 
This thing? Yeah, this thing. You held up your hand and you're like... That's like my self-image, like what I have to contain to exist in the world. Hmm. To like exist within myself hmm. so I don't disappear. Oh, okay. That struck me. Mm -hmm. a little, like a little electric bolt that went through me. Like this image I have to, the word have to, maintain in order to exist in the world. Right. I just got this sense of, I get this sense as you're talking, that this has been kind of an, an interesting weekend for you, huh? It's been pulling together, like, all the sort of thoughts, study, like, I've been paying attention to what you're posting, and I've been thinking about it, I've been thinking about the yin yang, I've been thinking about how I apply the the order and the chaos and like where I live. I've been thinking about the different facets of my personality that keep me safe and in the walls of safety and in order. Hmm. Um, and so, yes, this has been, it's been like really validating and like bringing more layers of insight that, um, so I'm feeling excited. <coughs> like I, I'm really excited to like feel that bottom line, like what it feels to cross over that that like structure of myself into like who I really am. Mm. And I think I've been I've been searching for that my whole life. And I'm just seeing like all the subconscious like stuff mm -hmm. that I've sort of been doing and am and all of um and seeing how not useful it is. Hmm. But there's still this grasping of like wanting to exist. Like wanting to still exist in this like plus, physical world. Plus one second, it struck me. Wanting, there's still a grasping of wanting to exist. <laughs> See, you're like the the twinkle in your eye, and a, like a like little background smile. That's that see, that's occurred to me through almost like a through line through everything that you've been talking. Mm -hmm. Since you've been talking, just made sense to me. Mm -hmm. It's almost it's almost like it's it's, all, it, it's interesting. My experience is almost like almost like you feel like you're getting away with something, right? <laughs> like right there, it's like that. There's this. <laughs> There's this joy, you know, like like what I'm hearing you say is like you're all you're talking about things like kind of, yeah. I feel like what I've considered myself to be, I'm gonna annihilate it, right? In fact, I kind of want to, mm -hmm. right? And God, it sucks, but I feel loved, mm -hmm. and like whoa, this is intense, but I would do it. I, I pay for it. I pay to do it again or something. Totally. Huh. Totally. Mm -hmm. So that right there, let's, I just want to feel that with you. What is that? What's the texture of that? Pause for a second. What was that? What did he just do? That was Warrior, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's Alexis's way of Warrior. Before he paused her, and this was just that right there. He's noticing something, and he's holding that moment. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want? No, just holding the moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. huh. what, is, what is the texture? Wonder. Yeah. Like, I just know, like I have this knowing that there's so much potential in human beings. Huh. Like, there's so much more underneath the personality. Right. Right, and this, that's why this weekend is so exciting for me. And I feel like I'm at like the tip of the mountain, like, and my my foot is stepped over, but I haven't fallen yet. And I'm just like so excited to fall, like to have that experience. Mm -hmm. So you're like, so a couple of things. You're actually in the presence of wonder. So the texture of this feeling, like what's behind that smirk, right? That thing that you're getting away with. It feels like an accomplishment. Huh. I was surprised to hear you say that. It feels like an accomplishment. The feeling of wonder is accomplishment? What's the accomplishment? 
getting to the excitement of it. Like, I'm excited to, like, usually it's terrifying to go into something that you're scared of. Okay, so pause one second. So it's funny, that seems, that strikes me as a big deal. Like, so something I've been terrified of before, I'm actually excited about. Mm -hmm. huh. That's just like, I just want to revere that for a moment. So it's like, what is that like for you? Just like, so if I point that out and say like, okay, here's just mirror back to you. It's like, I'm excited about my own like um, transmutation, if you will. Mm. It hasn't totally happened yet, right? Like I like I, I don't I don't know exactly where the unknown is, but when I find it, I'm gonna step over it, right? But I'm excited about it. Where I used to be terrified. What's it? What is that? Does that mean something to you? I'm, I feel a sense of meaning about that. What does that mean to you? Just that change, that change in orientation, right? Yeah, to me it means like my ability to be with like whatever it is, you know, like it's sort of like taking a crazy psychedelic drug, you know, it's like <laughs> it's terrifying. But if you can be with it. So it just, I just love it. Like you're saying, it's terrifying. Like there's this... <laughs> <laughs> there's something... There's so much wisdom in the terror. There's so much wisdom in the terror. You know, terror. like, if you, like, pay attention to it. Right. Like, what's... What's so scary? And, like, what I keep finding is that it's not yeah. that scary. It's yeah. just life itself happening. Okay, got you. So, so you just, I think I just got a peek of what's like, what's, what the transformation is, is like, so as what I heard you say is that like, like when I peek, right, when I peek at the possible, my own transformation, right, at life, like when I actually look, what I find is not the thing that I was necessarily terrified, but I just find life itself. And there's just something about that it's life itself and that recognition that has, mm. you say things like, I'm terrified, right? And you smile. Mm. I, I'm present to this kind of paradox, this growing paradox. What I'm seeing and just like this kind of, like this complex feeling in myself. What's happening for you? At this very moment, like ref like hearing you, like I, yeah. I I almost went out, like I wasn't. It's like it was like a little like flicker of something like came into my consciousness, and I was like, oh, that's really important. Right there, okay. That that response to a flicker in your consciousness that this is already out by the time you look at it. That that eagerness. Like, so I get the sense of just like, it's not like the flicker happened and you looked at it and you're like, well, upon reflection, I think I'll be, <gasps> go like that. There's just a pre-reflective, <gasps> that's the thing I want to get close to, I notice with you. Hmm. Almost yeah, like I get the sense of just like, almost like that there's something in the background that's just listening for, hmm. like listening, I don't know, for like. You know, that sense of like where you're in a crowd, you're going to be in this crowded, chaotic place. And if, if you hear your own name, there's like, like all the animals hush and you're like, oh, like something's listening. Like Such that when I hear it, it's, I realize like, oh, I've been listening the whole time for something. I just get that sense with you. Yeah, I'm enjoying that reflection. Like I'm, I'm thinking about being present with that. that, like maybe that's who I really am. Mm. <laughs> that's awesome. Mm. Just like I just want to, I want to create space for the awesomeness of it. I had this sense that we were actually like, when you talked about going over the cliff. I had this sense, I think we're already, I think we are falling. I wasn't sure. 
Yeah, and it's it, it's different than I expected. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I expected to kind of like fumble through, like more of my um, darkness, but like what I'm experiencing right now is my light. What I'm experiencing right now is my light. So as we just like, so as I just notice these little pre-reflective, like little moments of wonder to what just what's happening like as I bring my attention to it you're like oh maybe actually I'm already like I already am that maybe that's what I am what does that feel like it feels like it's always been there and it's never abandoned me ah so there's this way in where like, it's me, this is who I am, and it's been who I am. And in this way, it's me, and it hasn't abandoned me. <clears throat> I feel, and it's, I feel kind of like, almost like uh, transpersonally held or something. Hearing that. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm like really excited. I feel like I'm kind of tripping out a little bit. <laughs> like, it's surreal. Totally. What I heard you say actually is, is it's like you're realizing that the, well, the surreal is what I'm hearing you say is actually what's most real. Mm-hmm. It's like, I'm almost seeing this, like this little sliver, and I'm having deja vu now as I'm talking about this, <laughs> just makes it even more weird. But like, there's a sliver of my like being um, that's like I just got a glimpse of, and like there's all this stuff that was like in my way of like seeing truth and like who I am. And like, it's still holding all of this crazy shit too. It's like huh. all one still. Huh. That's I just have visual with it. Thank you. So I want to just like I want to. So basically, what I heard you say is like, whoa! Actually, I've already jumped. In fact, I am a jumper. <laughs> right. In fact, I've been falling and jumping and in wonder the whole time. In such a way that I've I haven't that it's never abandoned me, even when I haven't known about it, it hasn't required me even knowing about it. In fact, it's even not knowing about it, and being mistaking of, of itself, and it still hasn't left me. And as you realize this, you feel moved. Things feel trippy, and then I get interested in the trippiness, and it seems like it's like I say, well, it seems like that's actually what you're saying is actually the trippy is what's real. And then you hone in and you're like, yeah, like I can, I, can, I can kind of see, see the light, if you will. And there's everything that felt like not that, but somehow when I look at it like that, it's still, it's all been that the whole time. Yep, precisely. I'm impressed with my ability to paraphrase that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, like, it's just, there's a sense of, I think, it's, I think it's where my attention goes a lot of times naturally in circling is like kind of, there's, there's a way in which I'm like listening, I'm listening to you, right? And I'm listening to the person, what they're saying on a personal level. But there's also this other piece where I'm just kind of just, that there's something, there's something unfolding. Right, it's like almost. It's like prior to. It's prior to my awareness. It's prior to. In that whatever that whatever that that thing that's unfolding seems to, seems to have some kind of logos to it or some kind of order, but I I feel more inclined to like discover something that, is true, right? Discover something that's true, hmm. with you. Um, so I think if I listen to it, it's like that. Like if. 
it's like where my attention is going is just kind of like one is really understanding you but also being present to just what's at the tip of what you already understand or you haven't put into words yet and then noticing being with you in that like I guess like with the with the Tao like you know just kind of being being at the edge of something new and then like then you say it and then me paraphrasing it and then we both get to have this experience of like being surprised by what is happening mm -hmm. yeah kind okay, of tickles and it was but yet it was way more than paraphrasing so like guy was paraphrasing mm -hmm. but he, so he's like getting her like current world or the world that she's speaking but then as you're doing that you're you're like trying her on and then and you're you're getting you're getting a you're saying more than she said mm -hmm. so you're feeling into like what it's like to be her and then sharing so you're getting her world on that level and it's going beyond paraphrasing mm -hmm. and then like you said you're even then imagining okay so given that she's so I heard what she said but now trying it all on like what hasn't she said that I'm still getting mm -hmm. and so so he trusted his intuition and he just went like deep into the story, like as far down as it would go in the moment, mm -hmm. and just shared all that as he was paraphrasing. So you, it's like you, it's like you didn't just do it in steps; you were just sort of all doing it at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and and but but the the key to me was that you were you were trusting yourself just to tell a deeper story that hasn't been told yet, even if you were not right. Yeah. Right? And and that's so like the warrior part of seeing what hasn't been seen. Yeah. And so now you're, you're seeing it together, and whether it landed or not, it landed, so it's like, whoa, yeah, that's beautiful. But even if it didn't, she would have had to go down there to find something else. Mm. Yeah. Glad you said that, I think trusted. What actually am I trusting, though? Like, I, am not, I don't know if I'm, not, I don't, doesn't feel like I'm like trusting my ability to be accurate or something. It's more like I'm trusting my intention. Actually, I'm trusting that you understand my intention, mm -hmm. right? And that's the, I think that's the thing where I feel free to like take your awareness and like put it inside my nervous system and go, because it is, it's kind of like, there's so much reality and I only have one mouth. So it's like, you can only talk about so much of it. And then I can, I can since I'm here with it, like we're both sharing an awareness. I think that's what it is. It's like the acknowledgement of that there's, that we're sharing awareness. Mm. Right. Yeah, and it's almost like I have to trust <clears throat> that you're going to take like my data and put it into your computer and spit out something that like is relatively close to what like my data totally is representing. Totally. If if my uh, calendar link comes out, <laughs> you send it to blessing. I <laughs> the other sense, the other sense I have is that it, like you're just tuning in like you you don't have a paper in the back of your mind here with the steps of circling yeah. thinking okay now i have to paraphrase now i gotta notice dissonance that yeah. type of thing so you're just tuning in mm -hmm. and and trusting yourself and being present right yeah totally so it's like you're not you're not trying to circle right right that, that was just seemed mm -hmm. So obvious. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't feel like I was being circled. I felt like I was having a conversation, like a deep conversation with yeah. Guy, which is like an honor <laughs> mm. to me. Mm. Getting that insight. Mm. So and that's I, I, yeah. one last thing. I also like how how Guy uses it's like he uses his body as a barometer. Mm. And a number of times he said, "Wow, I, that really struck me." Okay. And this is one of the places I notice dissonance probably the most in circles is where somebody says something and they say it, you know, usually we think of dissonance as they say like something and they're angry but you're smiling and so you hear an emotion but the body language is different. But what I notice it the most is when the lack of emotion, like they say it matter of factly but it strikes you or it knocks you over yeah. and it's like, and then that's the point. Oh my God! Like what you just said, it's impactful. Yeah. Even though it's you seem to be just nonchalant with it. Mm -hmm. And each time I noticed you pointed that out, wow, this struck me. You know, you're, uh, 
the self-image story don't disappear. I've been searching my whole life, uh, like searching for that my whole life, wanting to exist. Oh wow, that really struck me. Um, and then um, that strikes me as a big deal. I mean, uh, you're excited where you used to be terrified. Yeah. And then just coming up with stuff like that, like just like letting that hit you, and then like, okay, how does it, like how does it land in me? Mm. And just having the faith that that what you're going to share is, is going to be worth it. Right. Totally. No matter what happens. Yeah. As he's talking, I, ke I keep getting this sense of like a, a like a, a story unfolding or something. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just thinking of the air, like, I'm, I'm just like, from the experience I just had and applying it to, like, um, this, like, feeling that I can disappear or not exist. And then I'm like, so that that felt sense of that wonder, yeah. like if that's who I really am, yeah. and then I'm like taking that and I'm putting it in these like areas of my life where it feels unworkable or undoable or like hopeless or something, yeah. and like putting that wonderment in there, and it's like, oh. If, if that wonder's there, then, like, I'm still existing in the way that matters most to me. I feel moved by your tracking. Like, what you're paying attention to. What I heard you say was, like, basically, basically, <clears throat> yeah, wonder. And then there's this, this place where I, like, I fear not existing, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, now, wonder. Well, what happens, the very, like, I want to tease you about Minnesota Midwestern enlightenment, right? Like, what happens when I take this and I put it in that, <laughs> right? That's exactly what I was doing. Just that, so just that, whatever it is, like, how, I think the thing that I'm most, I want to feel, I want to get close to with you, is how did you know to do that? What did like, it's just, it strikes me as just not something that, like, not everyone does that. Just the inclination to know, ah, oh, and then put it in there. Mm. <clears throat> is that, is actually, it's like, it's like, is, is that the, is that the you that we were talking about, that you've been the whole time that didn't need you to know about it, such that you realize it never abandoned you. Is that the wonderment? Yeah, the wonderment is me. Yeah, mm. like the part of me that's never like I get. I've gotten curious about every single experience of my life. Like I never ignored anything. I never ignored anything. I've gotten curious about ever every single experience of my life. Everything. Yeah. I mean, like at the earliest age that I think I could. Like, I would lay in bed when I was five and, like, try to imagine what it's like, like to not exist. Like, what is death like? You know? So, I think it's just something that I've been doing my whole life. Like, oh, let's take that and put it there. So, I just get this, this, this image of just you, in a certain sense, this wonder has been kind of like this silent partner. Mm-hmm. Like with you the whole time and I think it's where I, I it's like my joy like huh. I remember my very first circle someone getting mad at me when I was suffering and I was like smiling at the same time and this person like had a really bad reaction to that and I was like well it's because I am like I get excited when I get to go into this dark scary area and like explore it it's like that's who I am like just I'm so curious and especially when it's like me and now it's like, oh, now it's everybody else too. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to go, you know, like, caving in you. Huh. Find out what it's like to be there. Huh. I just like the thing you did, like, especially as me. Oh, and now. <laughs> <laughs> now it can be Now yourself. I can point it. Now I can, what I heard you say is what I'm kind of getting is like, so we're recognizing something together, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's like it's 
recognizing almost like a secret. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know that that wonderment was so important. That yeah. I didn't identify with it, I guess. Yeah. I identified with like all the stupid, crazy shit that I do for my personality. And yeah. I guess the wonderment is sort of like the observer too. Maybe there's like three facets, facets of me. There's like the one who's curious, the one who observes the curiosity and the chaos, like the craziness. <laughs> So I almost feel like there's, I just met another piece of who I am or another person. So, so, so as we as we meet it, meet this other piece of you. It does feel like this. I feel, in a certain sense, like we're both. <coughs> if I'm holding you to something, it's like. And you just have this quality of like it just it'll like, like slip out of your hands if you don't hold it right or something if you're clenched to it. Like I get that sense of like I don't want to like make it too mechanical or too specific, but I do feel like I'm somehow relaxing with you into this deep consideration, this profound consideration to to that maybe actually what I what I've wanted to be is actually what I've been the whole time, right? And like. What happens if, who knows if it's true? Like, I'm hearing that mm -hmm. implicitly there's a, you know that it's true. Mm -hmm. But there's also the it's feeling like, almost like that would almost be a violation of the, of you to say, I know it's true. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, because all the shit's at stake. You know, like, and then I also think about, okay, if that's true, and, like, that's the me that's always been there, it's like, how do I make that little sliver of light the bigger piece of the picture versus like the crazy shit is like right now if there's like a rectangle and like the real me is like this little sliver like there's all like I want to make that gap bigger and have like the craziness part get smaller yeah. So this wonder, this one, this wonder bug that you are, right, wants things, and that's what I really just heard is like, mm -hmm. it's not like I'm just wondrous, right? but actually like I want, I want, I want everything to be wondrous. Mm -hmm. So it's a different way. I heard that differently than what you just said. It's another version of what you just said. How do I make this I, when I stick it in there? But I, now I just heard another version of like, actually, I want all of this. To be that, I want that gap, right, to be wider. So if we say, if we say that like, here we are, and like, what what in this moment, what is or what isn't, what is or isn't included right now? I'm not really sure what you mean. You said that there's stuff over here, right? That like although I realize it's all one thing. I haven't totally realized it's all one thing. It's still like I look over there and there's, as you said, the, there's the, the mm. character of my personality and its various complaints and laundry lists and, and things I need to get over so that I can, whatever that is, right? And then there's this, mm -hmm. right? That moving it over. What right now in this moment, like, is this whole moment, is, is it wondrous for you? Are there parts where it's like, wow, I don't actually, I'm not very connected with it. What's it like here? Like, is it? All I can say to, in response to that is that I wonder. See, so pause one second. Hold that. Okay, so like, right, it's not a pot, like right there. So that's a that's a distinctive thing that like. If I just was following the movement of where things were going, mm -hmm. right? It's like there's a steeper question, and like now I could feel, the sense of like, all right, so. Like in a certain sense, I'm taking your aim and I'm like just making it explicit and bringing it in now. And in that moment, like there's going to be probably a bunch of other stuff that comes up, right? It's kind of a warrior moment, if you will. Yeah, and I and I also over here I feel like uneasy. Like I am feeling like I didn't totally understand what you're saying, and I didn't fully totally understand what you're saying twice. 
And then I was like, okay, all I can do is say like what I'm thinking. Okay, so pause, so pause right there. Okay. And I'm gonna ask you something too. So you seem to be like really, really tuned into the moment. Yet you're also pulling stuff out that's stuff you're getting about her, like that's outside the moment. Now, are you consciously aware of like everything that's happened in the circle and you're sort of following the you're connecting the dots, or are you just staying in the moment and this is just coming to you? Like, how are you doing what you're doing? <laughs> That's what we all want to know. I think it's like, I think I would imagine something like um, those things that you wrote down are like little, I think they're little testimonies of like kind of themes or what I'm getting. So I think those things kind of hold a bunch of a bunch of specific things that you said. So, so they're like threads. And so when there's this bigger sense of like, all right, I am wonder, right? I recognize it, right? I realize it. But then there's this other part which is like, but then there's my life, because that, that contrast. And then I want this to be like that in some way. And so I'm like just noticing if I follow the movement of that, like holding that. So something is me is just tracking kind of, I think themes are threads. And like bringing them in and just feeling kind of the movement of it. And, but the thing I'm con like right now, what's it like being confused? I don't feel confused. Okay, so I'm confused. What's it like to have me <laughs> no, 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 like confused? <laughs> How is it like to have you confused? <laughs> Pretty awesome. <laughs> you said something about like I didn't. Oh, I didn't understand. You didn't understand me twice. Yes. Right. And that something, something was. I'm different. not confused about that. I'm just like, maybe okay. there's, there's like, like I'm getting that there's something I don't want to hear out of your question or whatever you said. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm just aware that there's maybe a block or hmm. something I don't want to hear or so a block is here yeah there's some maybe you're taking me in a direction that I'm having some subconscious resistance to yeah so what is it what is it like what's your response to seeing that the possibility that maybe a block? <laughs> huh. I'm curious about that totally totally so there's a curious there's this like a, there's that pre-reflective response right mm -hmm. I'm curious and it's, and it's like not necessarily good news, right? Oh, I'm blocked about something, right? And I'm curious. So here's a moment where it just happened spontaneously. No smiling, not yet. <laughs> so, so, so it sounds like it's like as, the thing I've been noticing through the circle is like when I make something I think implicit, like explicit and show it to you, there's this leave it, this joy that you talked about that seems to happen, right? The, mm -hmm. the joy factor one. I'm noticing that my body is shaking. I'm like uncontrollably shaking. So let's... Like uncomfortable. When you said that, I, it, it, like I felt a little bit like if I put myself in that position, it'd be something like I feel out of control. Is mm -hmm. it like that kind of uncomfortable? Yeah, like wanting to control it. Yeah. Huh. You want to actually, so there's, a, there's a shaking going on mm -hmm. in your body. I, I, where's the curiosity with that? I'm not sensing as much. Like there's something bubbling. Or I'm afraid, I don't know. There's just, I think I'm feeling a little frustrated because I just want to, I want to get there. It's taking a long time. <laughs> huh. Well, I'm so sorry. Enlightenment, <laughs> Enlightenment is like not following your schedule. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, so the shaking, 
I just like I, I feel just like a lot of joy and you just your desire to start, and it's also like I've shared this before but it's something about like is this way in which like the word punk comes up with you a lot like <laughs> there's like come on fucking like let's, there's this kind of thing like let's get on with it we've been talking five minutes already let's like, let's fucking like dissolve for Christ's sake. Why? Right? Why do I have to shake? <laughs> right. In fact, I'm shaking because like you're kind of guy. You're kind of getting in the way. You're saying confusing things or whatever. Like <laughs> hmm. you're taking a long time. Yeah. <laughs> when I know you, you yeah. could get there faster. <laughs> <laughs> so, so get, taking a long time. Like so, there's a sense of impatience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Totally. Now that, when I feel that sense of impatience, right, I just want to hang out there for a moment. So if we're just going to, we're just kind of keep welcoming everything that's happening, impatience is here. I'm getting curious about, I, I just have this sense of like, if we were to open up what impatience is, I, have a, I just have this sense that there's a, there's been some kind of relationship with impatience that we could probably have, we could, we could probably tell a story about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Will you tell me the story <laughs> of impatience? Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, I'm just like kind of going, I sit around kind of impatient all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm expecting some grand finale in life or something and it doesn't necessarily look like anything mm-hmm. but like maybe the sense of accomplishment and I think I do have a fear that like once I experience that it's death the impatience which which what's that death like I leave my body like it's done then like this existence is done moving on to the next when when the grand finale happens Huh. And I, and it's weird because I have this like impatient feeling, huh. like for that to happen, for the grand finale. Yeah. Damn. And then, but it's weird because after that would come death. Okay, so this says you. And that would make yeah. sense because, like, I think I do have like this weird death wish, hmm. but I'm like really afraid of it too. <laughs> You were a trip. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, like there's these turns, like these turns that you're making. Like I had no idea you were gonna say, I think I have a death wish. And it's in such a matter of fact way, that's one of the things that's striking and it feels to me unique. Well, one of the ways that you occur to me is unique. Like it just makes sense that you would say, oh yeah, I think actually, like okay, like something like, yeah, laundry, grocery list, oh. oh. Death wish. <laughs> so that so so as I feel into it, if there's dissonance for me, I think I've just I started to hit some of it, right? Like, like so there's this one part because what you said about the wonder is also what you said about the impatience, huh? I think it's always here. I think it's always here. And I just, all of a sudden, I saw the wonder on the right side and the impatience on the other. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. And as I say that, holy shit happens. Let's take a moment and let's actually see if we can, like, together, like, maybe not, maybe not necessarily be in wonderment or impatience, but just like just see it and see what happens. I don't think I know how not to be in wonderment. So I don't know. Uh, like it doesn't seem like it's like almost like there's no. I don't know how. I don't think there's a joint there to move. Yeah, because I think it's just me. It's just you. It's like my essence. Just your essence. Or something, or like a facet of my essence. I don't know. Right. I actually see myself like in the in between world as this like little glowing ball, like bouncing around, like in wonderment. Yeah, totally. Except for like, so 
something it's something about impatience seems like something other than that glowing ball oh yeah it, yeah it's like that when you said that i was like oh that's that other pole here's the other part it's like it's a big part of it yeah and like that's how like the death wish thing like it somehow plays in right okay got you it's hard it's like hard so right now it's like so right here so here's the like if i look if i look at like we're live now okay the struggle's live how do I get the impatience to fit into the, sh like, like, or get the wonder to fill the impatience part? Like this stuff. One of the ways that we entered into that, it, it sounds like, is when you started to shake, when you noticed that you were shaking, right? Yeah, when I got fed up with it. What are you fed up with? I just felt my heart. It surprised me how I just felt really warm in my heart. Hmm. Hmm. I think this weekend has just brought up for me, like. Hmm. I'm kind of fed up with the human design. Hmm. Like I, it's like all makes sense, but mm. it's hard. <sighs> I fuck it. I just totally unfolded when you said that. <laughs> Can I stop shaking a little bit? It's hard. Wow. It's hard to like have the design of like feeling you're separate when you know you're not. It's hard to like feel lonely when you know there's no reason for it. Like it's hard to like see the whole big picture. You know, like and I I just see it. It's hard to like hold it all and like and then live in this world where like even talking about something like that is like what? You know, like, um, it doesn't get validated. I feel, um, I feel like almost goosebumps reversed or something. I feel this really, like, in darkened bumps or something like I feel I feel fear I have this sense of like deep person like a deep personal sense of when you said like it's hard mm -hmm. I did it was like I felt like I felt something being acknowledged that like unfolded me like so I'm like sitting like this and I just as you were talking about like god yeah it's so hard like to know yet to feel something different than I know like how to like how do I ever bridge that gap Right. Yeah. So I just I think as I, as I'm talking, and right before when you started talking about, it, I was like, oh, I got I got hit with this like sense of like compassion or warmth that was just it just spontaneously there, and then this unfolding thing happened, and then like, and now there's this place where I think what I'm I think what we're touching is like there's a place that you just you're a human being that's suffering, huh? There's a way that, like, even even knowing the ultimate, the ultimate thing to be wondrous about, like it's even in some way having the being wonder itself affords the everything. But then I find myself as someone who's just a something, in while holding the everything, and it creates this whole thing that goes on, and it's so personal. I feel just connected to you personally right now. I understand impatience from here actually as one response to the suffering mm -hmm. both as a response to it and also like a, a, an expression of it and as I'm sitting here I'm just noticing as I'm talk, as I'm working through my experience that I just got hit with of you like as I'm making sense of myself with you 
Wow. I have, like I feel like really profoundly in the presence of just loving you. And almost like I like I wouldn't solve it. But I just do feel like I like just I love, like as if I ever could. But like I really feel like I wouldn't. What's it like to hear just like my experience of you? Is it okay if I touch you? something other than my wonder mm. like another human being mm. like something I have some level of like belief that no one else could really comprehend and you just comprehend it it's like really complex thing in me it's pretty profound. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like I could sit here with you for like ever. <laughs> you can. <laughs> <laughs> No shit. <laughs> I'm getting that actually. And it's all like super exciting and it's hard to share because like it just goes over people's heads and I'm weird. <laughs> I'm like, I don't feel weird right now. I just feel like honored. God, I feel honored too. I did is really interesting. Like it's so as you say like, um, essentially I feel like I'm just pulled together underneath this tree or something. It's like we just solved some koan or something, <laughs> and we ended up, like, right where we were, but just more ordinary or something. But somehow it's more profound. But I also just, like, I'm, as I'm talking now, I'm just, I feel like as I'm talking, I'm touching closer into this, this place, this thing that you said. Like, I, I, it's so, it's so, I don't know what the word, but it's so rare, or it's never happened, I think. Like, that the, in this complicated thing of being me, that I can't, it's unspeakable, right? That I'm being met for the first time, not just by my wonder, but by love. And that it happens to be a person And this is the place where it's like so personal. Like can you haven't been there's been no person where it's most personal for you. Mm. Like I thought I had to die to get here. anyone say that to me.
so, so what's it like not being dead <laughs> and being here? Hard to describe. And the cycle begins again, huh? <laughs> I feel like yeah. I don't know you can't really explain any of it totally I don't even know like I don't even know what I said I don't know what I talked about I'm just having the experience that's, of whatever it that's is that's kind of cool it was like having someone here with you is that you don't have to hold all that you can just yeah <laughs> what you said do you want to know what you said <laughs> yeah mm, totally what you said is like essentially you could say the ride here is like yeah I am wonderment but like with that wonderment being a human being with a name and like an age and desires and concerns in Minnesota and like all like all of it right like that it's not like it's like one the wonderment and being a finite human being um, creates this this dissonance this core dissonance between what I know and what I kind of experience or that I am and that like that it like as I go through life that dissonance has takes a toll on me and one of the tolls it takes is it's so fucking complicated like if I try to share it, I lose people, right? Which, which in losing people, like it's there's a sense of I, I haven't ever even had them in the first place, right? So this deep, the thing that's most important to me, this wonderment that I am, is like unbeable with. In fact, I thought that in order to transcend all of that or like to, to get close to all that, I just needed to, to get rid of the part that like I get so fucking impatient with. And so therefore it's like, that's the wish I want is just like, can't we just hurry up and just die? And on some level, if we say like, like, like you, you somehow, somehow we ended up underneath this tree together and you didn't die. And like you're here and you're being touched by something other than just the wonder. That's what I remember. Yeah. That's and it feels like it's just sort of like something I thought could never happen. Huh. So a happening is going on that is exceeding your thoughts. It's it's like chaos. I can't I can't understand it. How come I'm smiling hearing that? Because you just taught us about order and chaos. <laughs> Maybe you're feeling pride. <laughs> well, well, let's see if I am. Like, <laughs> uh, I just, I think I just felt actually a reversal there, of like, before you were talking about like what I know. In reality, like don't match. Like I know so much more than what I can experience. And what I heard you just say here is like, I'm, I think I just, oh, I'm experiencing so much more than what I know. Yeah. I just had like, the, my chills just <laughs> reversed again. I mean, it's pretty fucking awesome that I get to know something I didn't know. And I get, I get to know that I don't have to die in order to, like, be understood. Like, on this really deep, real level for me that, like, probably seems really unreal to most people. Right. Unless you do, like, massive amounts of acid or something. Right. Yeah. So as you're talking, like, the thing that you've been doing the whole time when you've talked about the wonderment, the looked over here and you hmm. talked about your light like everything else yeah. you looked over here yeah and like right now like you're looking as watching you move your eyes and you're like and you're basically going like wow I'm like 
I think what I'm seeing is you starting to be find the wonderment over here. And you went really deep. And then you went like this. Yeah, I'm just like I'm I'm in amazement. Like and there's so much more. So you're in amazement. Is it close? Like you're in amazement of life. Like here we so here we are life like like you know biology your biology I'm growing old you're growing old like all the stuff right at some point I'll say something that you'll get impatient about and piss, like all the stuff right gravity physics all that like but it's like it's what I'm hearing you say it's it's like right in this moment like it's life is actually presenting something more than you could comprehend like here we are, like some another human being could sit underneath this tree with you. You couldn't, like you can't, you, know, you just can't comprehend that. You didn't even know to probably want it, but here it is. I didn't think that people were capable. Like I didn't know. I mean, this skill is really unique. It, you don't find it in the world, you know. And like, that's why I'm here. Like, that's accessing areas that you just didn't know exist so that's yeah. amazing I mean, like I feel like it like rewires the brain like it does this like real <laughs> physiological change like that moment of like getting that I don't have to die to be met in this way that felt unmeetable changed every cell in my body mm. like I have new eyes I feel like I'm sitting and, and listening to the prophet of the profane <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I do I just feel like sat, sat down and just, I'm just listening to you mm. that's fun <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging that. <laughs> this one. Huh. So I, like it, like it, it, it to, to put any boundary around this moment, like just feels just absolutely ridiculous to me. But like, if we were, if we were to wind open this, this circle, is this a good place to start winding it open? Anything, anything more that you want to say? Um, I, I just hope that I can like hold on to this knowing. I guess I, I still don't know what just happened, and I hope that I can like leave feeling that madness. So pause one second, so just one minute. So, okay, so you're having an experience that you don't, that is actually like, that you don't know. I don't trust it. Uh -huh. You don't that trust That it's gonna like make a lasting impact because like, I see like that, that death wish, I do things that like can cause death, right? right? And like, those are the things that I wanna get out of my life so it's like one of the places what I'm hearing is like one of the places I want to in, I, like so what I'm hearing is the urge to integrate actually an urgency like when I heard that thing is like actually not just the urge but the urgency to integrate right mm -hmm. what I'm hearing you say is like God if I could have infinity now like in all areas without having to die part of me doesn't totally believe it when I ask myself but there's this thing that I just happened right here that I didn't know about so Maybe I want to learn how to not die, right? So I can have what's happening. More, yeah. More. P.S. Hurry up. <laughs> There's that impatience again. <laughs> hurry up and integrate before you die. Hmm. You kill yourself. Hmm. But. I just, I think it's like, it's so... 
so wild. I, I feel like I was just on this ride with you that was so surprising, right? Just like, boom, boom, whoa. Mm -hmm. And like, at the, I think it's so telling, at the end of it, you're like, all right, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that, that, that thing that's resilient through all of that, like, I'm not even like, it's still alive. not even not dying profoundly, like affected that thing that's like, all right, come on, let's, I want more. That appetite. Yeah. That to me, to me, how I'm experiencing that is like that is a un there's a way that runs through you that's really unique. Hmm. And it sounds like it sounds like it like it's irritating to you or it feels irritating or something like that. But for me, it's just like, wow, well, that is just this, this just like occurs as a unique, a unique you. Hmm. I feel I feel blessed by. Hmm. So I'm getting that you see. Um, okay, now she's paraphrasing me. I know, but yeah, I want to understand. Like you, <laughs> you see how that annoying um, urgence is like maybe a unique kind of cool thing about me, versus like just plain annoying. I feel, I feel delighted by it. Huh. My fingers are falling asleep. <laughs> Something about that seems like to be affecting you. That I'm delighted by something that. That I judge as bad. Hmm. Now that seems like that could be a whole nother circle <laughs> that we're not going to have Sadly. right now. I'm okay with that. Thanks. Thank you. down <laughs> that was, seemed like so much to track what what it occurred to me is like about maybe less than half the way into the circle it went beyond warrior and the whole rest of the circle was kind of like deep dive which is next weekend and it just sort of stayed it stayed there and just kept going deeper you know? um, so I was noticing I I had an intention to like stop you more often, and in a deep dive, it just didn't seem appropriate. Like, no, this is it's like too rich to, yeah. So, like I said, kind of so just stream of consciousness thoughts here. Um, Pause for a second. Yeah. Should we take a break and then go over this? You think, or like, what's the? Well, no, we'll oh, okay. Okay. So let's let's say this go over a little bit, and we can go over it again after lunch if we want to. Do you need a break, guys? Are you, guys, are you guys okay for 10 minutes, or do we need to take yeah. a break? I said do it now while it's yeah. fresh. It's fresh. Yeah. Let's do it. Now. Let's do it. Thank you. Uh, so, early part, you, you, would, you did notice dissonance a lot. And the thing that I noticed about your noticing is that he would, not only would he never make her wrong for dissonance, but he would celebrate the dissonance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, like, it's terrifying. <laughs> you know, like when she smiled and said it's terrifying and you just sort of mimicked her, but like not really mimicked her, but like celebrated her expression of it. Mm. Yeah. And then like you didn't even have to say it was dissonant. Like she just got it and that mm. sort of opened the door for something, something new. Um, and I, I really appreciate how you, you act out moments of her way of expressing herself. Again, like both to appreciate her uh, and so she can sort of see herself in your eyes. Yeah. Did, did you guys notice for a lot of times where guy would do that? Yeah. Um, and also how you would naturally 
mirror her. I don't think you ever even intend to do it, but a lot of the second half of the, re of the, of the circle, you were, she was like rubbing her face, and you were kind of like right there, like this, and then you would give the same expressions, and so just the evidence of just deep rapport. Um, John, while you're on that, I was noticing some evidence of deep rapport also in just the way that he was, was finding those notes of humor that she, like there was something about that, that he was so attuned to her humor as well, that every time that we would laugh together, I felt like, oh, there's more trust in the room, there's more trust yeah. in the room, there's more mm -hmm. trust in the room. And so like that level of attunement was happening, was very alive for me as well. Yeah. Yeah, I felt good to laugh. Mm -hmm. I wrote this down, I don't remember what you said, but your response was, what I want to be is what I've been the whole time. And it could have been like advice, or it could have been like, I want to reframe your experience so you feel better. But it was really like a question mark and getting, getting where she was at right at that moment with the possibility of expansion. Um, and you know, I've seen you in other circles spend a ton of time sharing impact. Like you share impact more than probably anybody I've ever seen. It's like a lot of times you're just constantly sharing and using your body to share how you feel. And this particular circle, you didn't do that a lot. And so it almost seems like it just wasn't necessary. Like really what was called for was more sort of being in her world and, and being together. Do, do you have any conscious awareness of that, mm -hmm. or do, do now bring it up now? Is do you get yeah. your? I think it's actually it just it just felt like at a certain point it just felt like yeah like there's something of like the impact was just being explicitly happening just like she was yeah. seeing she was yeah it. yeah you didn't have to express it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and was there did, were you were conscious of any sort of extra need to be like more consistently getting her world yeah because it, get, it was like it, it, it like it kept drawing on like bigger and more personal dimensions at the same time yeah. that like I actually needed to <laughs> I needed to get it to be able to like be to stay up with the conversation basically yeah. and it also occurred to me like and would, and would seem to come out at the end is that that's what was one of her deepest needs yeah. like she needed to be to be gotten and to be reflected and yeah, so you just kept. Mm. Yeah, that to, act alone yeah. is what made me feel like love. Yeah. That he like, because it was kind of hard to comprehend, so he just kept going. Yeah. And like that's what made me feel. Yeah. And then there was a point where you said, what's it like to be confused? And again, that's just like guys' willingness to just take a risk. Like it's, if, if, if a brand new Circle E was doing that, we might judge them. We might say you're making an assumption. But because, he, because the place he comes from is not that I'm making an assumption, it's that I'm co-exploring your world. Where you come from is more important than doing circling right. <laughs> and so he, like, in a sense, he made an assumption. Like you're, What's it like to be confused? And she said, I'm not confused. And so as a circular, he could have been embarrassed in that moment. He could have felt guilty. He could have apologized. And instead, what did he do? He laughed and he said, so I'm confused. Why am I confused? And uh, the other thing, if, if that's not your personal reaction, the other place you could go with that is say the simple question, so what are you feeling? Um, and it's uh, another similar thing a bit where you would just be with her in a way that opened the door for something more you'd say I'm so sorry enlightenment is not following your schedule <laughs> 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 you know again he, he could have said you know enlightenment doesn't follow a schedule and then it would be giving advice but it's like he was like he was getting a piece of her world with humor and opening so he was still getting what's real for her, like that was a true statement, and he wasn't judging it and he was opening the door for her to see or to see it more broadly. Yeah, that, that was just brilliant. Uh, 
Let's see. Uh, wonder and impatience together. Just bringing those two, like anytime you see two things, that, like two different things going on, like just like presencing them both together and just holding that dichotomy for them, that's, that's a, a powerful, to me that's a powerful warrior moment too, just holding them in that dichotomy. Um, and just saying it's hard, just pointing to that. Um, I wrote down something I selfishly wanted to say to you in that moment which was, uh, when you said it's hard, what like occurred to me was, like it's, it's, it's hard to be a soul in a soulless world. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and, and to be aware. Mm -hmm. and, and so like the question that I was imagining is like, so do I want to continue becoming even more aware when I know how hard it is? Mm -hmm. you know? But then you seem to get, you, like you got to the essence of all of that. And, um, and you said, I thought I had to die to get here. That was like, that was like the the the, the final phase of the deep dive going into the birth of something new. So that was, that was like, you realizing, oh, I don't. You presence it. Like, I don't have to die. And and you said, and again, just like using both humor and tenderness in the same moment is so powerful because it's like such a release. And you, I love how you, you do that a lot. I, I enjoy that part of your circle, and you, it's like, so what do you like about, uh, so what's it like to not be dead and to be here? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. um, and your response was, uh, I, I don't have to die, to, I realize I don't have to die to be met in this way, so I have new eyes. Birth is something new. So in a way, you got you really got a demo of the next two weekends with some warrior in the beginning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. But that was really powerful. Mm. Good job for yourself. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Anything you want to share about the second I half? Or? That was just great. I was just, it was, this is like listening to all that was really really great because it does kind of disappear. Like in, at least in the way of icons, it's hard to kind of track and remember the specifics of those things. But like so you're saying, it. I like the the change. The like I think the key for me was I I do think that there's this way in which like what speak to me are these themes, like these kind of almost existential themes, right? Of like personal and wonder, like you know, impatience and wonderment, and these kinds of things. It's just like something about those that lots land and just pointing those out um, and then displaying them like seem to be just on its own something happens it's like neither you or me but like it's almost like a we I think it seems to be a part of the relationship yeah. the relationship starts informing us yeah. Yeah, and your way of tracking is is also I think that's something that's just you can't even you can't even plan for it you just have to continue you just have to circle a thousand times and then that sort of yeah. seeps in, but like you, you wrapped up the whole circle and sort of tracked or recapped the whole circle. Yeah. But you could have never, like, if a court reporter was there writing out the circle, uh, it didn't sound anything like what you would have gotten from that. It's like you took the essence of everything that was happening and recapped that. Yeah. 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 So John, I want to add on to that. It's not just the recapping it, it's the recapping it from the position of appreciation. It's sure. recapping it from the, uh, the point of view of love. It's where I see you that I am really appreciating and enjoying and being with you. It's a recap from that. And the other things you pointed out, all the warrior moments you pointed out, I think it's obvious that they weren't harsh. So we often think, oh, warrior, oh, harsh, I've got to be. But no, the warrior is just in, I'm just going to hold you here in love in this spot. Mm -hmm. and so there's a lot of ways. It's nice to go into the warrior like we did this weekend and get confronted by it and grapple with all the ways to say, I don't believe you, it would be harsh. And then get a soft end and realize, oh, warrior keeps me holding you. Yeah. Right where you need to be held. So guys. In all of this complexity, you can be seen in, in, in real life. Now I have to wait until the other life to be seen. Yeah. 
So, Guy, your next place of growth for circling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Actually, I, I can't think of any. But I would think that we, we need to get one of those um, virtual reality things on you so that we can see circling like through your eyes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll, I'll get it <laughs> Let's see that. I don't know if they will see that. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm.